the narcissist fears this when they discard you. When the narcissist discards you, they want to portray an image to you. They want to make it look like they're rising off into the sunset, as though they have nothing to worry about, as though they're so much happier without you. They want to make it look that way to you because that then, get, that then gives them supply. But it's just an illusion. It's an orchestration. They know how to plan and coordinate the elements of a situation to produce the desired effect. They are expert manipulators. They know how to give you a false impression. They know how to make you believe something that is not true. And if they can get you to believe it, it makes it more believable for them. It makes them think that maybe they are better off without you. It makes them feel better about their lives. But the truth is that things aren't going as well as you may think. It's not so easy for them to just move on and find someone to replace you. Not everyone is willing to do what you did for them. Most people will not put up with that kind of treatment for long periods of time. Most people would not want to deal with them. And they know this. Which is why when they're trying to secure a new source of supply, they fear this. They worry about it. It preoccupies their minds continually and to a troubling extent. Because they hate anything that is unpredictable. Anything where they don't know what the outcome is going to be. They need to have control. They need to know what's going to happen. Or else they will experience fear and anxiety. And it will cause them to act out. It will cause them to act inappropriately. Around the new supply. And it may even reveal their true character. Because deep down they know that most people aren't going to want to deal with them. They know that most people aren't going to put up with their behaviour. But they don't really see it as though they're doing something wrong. They're looking at it like there's something wrong with their supply. For not tolerating their behaviour. They see it as an attack. As though something is being done to them. As though they're deliberately causing disruption or inconvenience to them. They don't look at it like maybe this person just doesn't want to be treated like a doormat. Narcissists expect everything to be the way they want it to be. They are arrogant and entitled. They expect people to see it as a privilege to even be around them. And if for whatever reason you are not willing to accommodate them, they see it as an insult. They see it as though you're trying to hurt them. And then they go into the victim role. This is something that the narcissist fears when they discard you. They fear that their new supply is not going to tolerate their behaviour. They understand that not everyone is going to be as accommodating to them as you were. 
So when they discard you, this is something that they will worry about. They may even anticipate rejection, which will then cause them to act out. It will cause them to panic, which may then reveal their true character. The narcissist also fears that you may try to expose them. They fear that you may try to contact the new supply. But again, they don't see it as though they did anything wrong. They believe that they were the victims. They believe that anything they did was justified. They never look at it as though they did anything wrong. Which is why when they meet their new supply, they will often talk about you. They will tell them how horrible you were. They will say that you were crazy. Especially if you're still trying to contact them. Especially if you're still looking for answers. They're just going to portray you as some crazy stalker. But they do fear that you may contact their new supply. They do fear that you might expose them. Because somewhere in the back of their minds, they do know that what they did was wrong. They always find a way to rationalize their behavior. Or if it was so bad that there's no way to rationalize it, they will just deny it. They will act like it never happened. But somewhere in the back of their minds, they know exactly what they did to you. They know that they were at fault. They know that they were the cause of everything that went wrong. They know that if they had made adjustments to their behavior, things would have turned out very differently. Yes, of course. They are fully aware of this. But it's almost like a mental battle that they're having in their minds. They're fighting it. They're trying to push it away. Which is why any time you try to confront them on this, it will cause a narcissistic injury. They will explode. Because it brings it all to the surface. All of the emotions that they're trying to, to suppress. Which is why this is something that the narcissist fears when they discard you. They fear that things will not work out with the new supply. Because deep down they know they're not good people. And they've had enough failed relationships to know that the next one isn't going to work. So naturally they are going to be afraid of this. They're going to anticipate rejection. They're going to anticipate another failure. It's almost like they expect it. So from the moment they enter a new relationship, they're never playing with a full deck of cards. They're always withholding certain information. They're trying to get the new supply to reveal any private information that they can later use as ammo. Anything new that they engage in is just a setup right from the start. They never start off with a clean slate because they're already expected to mess things up just as they did before. But of course, they always play the victim they always blame the other person. But that doesn't make the fear go away.
It's like they almost have this knowing that everything they get into is predestined to fail. So right from the start, it's like, why should I even bother trying? I might as well sit back and let them do everything for me. Or maybe I should target their self-esteem. Make them feel like they're not good enough for anything else. Maybe then they will stay with me. That's just a mentality they have when they get into anything new. Because they've had so many failures and no success. And they always blame everyone else. So right from the start, they already expect it to fail. They're not expecting anything to go right for them. Which is why they just see it as a drive-by. They're just going in as quickly as possible, getting what they can, and then they're on to something else. Because they don't expect anything to last. They don't really think that anyone will want them. That anyone would be willing to invest anything into them. They already know that they're no good. So it's all about running in. And getting what they can. And then getting out before everything falls on top of them. It's never about building anything that will last. Because they already know they're not capable of doing that. They already know they don't have qualities or abilities to make it last. So there's just no incentive for them to do anything right or to treat people well. All they can do is look out for themselves and focus on what they want. Because they have nothing to give to you or anyone else. The game is just to make you believe that they do. But they are constantly in fear that people are going to figure them out. They fear that you might expose them. And there's nothing a narcissist fears more than abandonment. They want to be the ones to reject you. They want to be in control. Which is why their entire lives just become a game where they're just ducking and diving, taking what they can and then moving on to the next. They're always trying to evade some unfortunate consequences. They're always running from something. They cannot build anything meaningful. They cannot build anything that lasts. Because they're constantly in fear of being exposed. They're constantly in fear of being rejected. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries. You can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.